Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it's 5.10 in the morning. Super American healthy breakfast. Because today we are going to the Grand Canyon. First time for me, second time for her. Yes. We're taking an all-inclusive bus ride. We're 30 minutes early. I think we're gonna be okay. I don't want to miss the bus. Our baby broke, but I have zip ties. We oh. call it a baby because it's so freaking heavy, because it's so big. It's a gallon. See? Back on track. <laughs> Always bring zip ties. Okay, so we are here at the Treasure Island, which is apparently where we are getting picked up. Um, I don't know if there's other locations where the pickup are. We did not book this trip ourselves, his cousin did. So I know that you have three different options for drop off, but right now, pick up TI. We have tons of people here, but uh, hopefully we get a spot. Good morning. Good morning. South Rim. Yeah. If you're not a South Rim person, don't be in your life. <laughs> All right, we are on the bus. It's the two of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus, plus family. Plus the rest of my family is here yes. too. The rest of my family. Oh yeah, and the rest of our family is here too, family. yes. All right, here we go. And then we'll be stopping at the Grand Canyon. If you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to ask. First thing that happened, the bus driver went completely the opposite way. Well, since we live here, we know where we are. Yeah. So we know we're supposed to head east. East. Um, but the bus driver kept going north. So we did a turnaround up north of Vegas, kind of close to where the motor speedway is. Now we're headed back south, and I'm sure we'll be heading east pretty soon, because that's kind of where the Grand Canyon is. It's an adventure. Absolutely. Stay tuned. get some snacks, restroom break, and that's pretty much it for the time being. It's powerful wind! Yeah, it is. Woo! And these are our seats. Our seats. So we've been on the road. About an hour. About an hour, yeah. We come to the top of Oak Mountain at an elevation of 2,700 feet from Black Mountain. Pit stop number two. We are in this small little town. They said something about the movie Cars that it was filmed here. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but you have a lot of these old cars and also some of the characters from that movie. Cool stop. And exactly, yeah, exactly one hour since we had our last pit stop. So keep moving closer towards the Grand Canyon. Alrighty. So we got the maps. Christy, she's dead. Not much sleep tonight, baby. How many hours did you sleep? <coughs> Two hours. I'm well rested. <clears throat> I think I should go home and run after this. Yeah, go for a run. Food. What do we have, baby? A turkey sandwich. Turkey with sandwich. Some chips, turkey sandwich. A cookie and some water. And they also have vegetarian. Vegetarian alternative. I got the same stuff. It's hard to film at the same time. Chips. Water. 
an apple, cookie, and a sandwich. All right, we have made it to Mather Point and we got dropped off uh, where the shuttle bus and large buses drop people off. Just kind of a out of the way place to be honest with you. But now we are here and we are going to walk to the next um, visitor center. It's a two and a half mile walk. So it'll take us about an hour and a half, two hours. And that's pretty much how much time they've given us to be able to walk over there to that pickup spot. So now for the view. grand. Look how small they look over there. I mean the the camera it doesn't nope. doesn't do it justice nope. at all. Look how beautiful the bird. Look at the yeah it's a, oh wow That's I'm gonna have to turn around now. So we're taking the rim trail that will lead us to where the bus is waiting for us. And the views, again, I can't express this with words. It's just breathtaking and the depth is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I also want to say that it is mid-June and it is very, very windy. It was windy in Vegas, windier here, and it's definitely cooler, although it's still pretty warm. But you can definitely tell a difference. Because I think she said we were like 6,000 feet in elevation. I think, don't quote me on that. Um, but I'm really actually happy. I'm wearing a sweatshirt, cover up a little bit, have a hoodie in case I want to cover my ears. So I did not know we were going to be doing a walk today. I'm really happy. I very comfortable but I mean I'm really happy that we can get out stretch our legs take this little walk of two and a half miles along the canyon and I don't know but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to come back and do something down at the bottom of the canyon and really get more of like a Grand Canyon experience other than just seeing it quickly for a quick day trip because it's just spectacular. Halfway through the hike, you have this little stop, pit stop thing, and also you have some restrooms, which is super nice. All kinds of different viewpoints with more information about the rock. I had to do a panorama because this is unbelievable. It's a windy day today, to say the least. But it's fantastic, it's just perfect weather to be honest with you. Windy, cold wind, hot sun. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, we have made it to the Bright Angel Lodge and it took us about two hours to get here from Mather Point or something like that. Um, we did walk slowly at some points, 
faster at other points. We took a lot of video, a lot of photos. You have to. But we were on a time crunch to get back to the shuttle to head us back. So I, you know, probably would have taken a little bit longer to be honest with you by taking the amazing <laughs> video footage of everything because it's just breathtaking while you're here. Our Grand Canyon experience is epic. It's our final stop of the day. We are at the same truck stop that we stopped at first. And we are on our way back to Vegas, probably about another hour. And then we'll be done. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Come see us again. Bye bye, bus. Bye bye. Bye bye, bus. <gasps> We're, We're back. home. We're back home. It is now. 10 p.m. What an amazing experience to see the Grand Canyon with your own eyes. It is a long trip though. It's a very long trip. We were kind of discussing like, you know, the benefits of doing something like this, the pros and cons. And yeah, pros is that you literally just buy your ticket and you go. And you don't have to really worry about anything else. Um, with that being said, you are mainly on a bus, hands down. The amount of time that we spent at the Grand Canyon, maybe because the bus driver had gotten there maybe a little bit late, because I, like I said, I know she was going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. So the amount of time that we actually spent at the Grand Canyon was about two hours. Two hours and 15 minutes, two hours and 30 minutes by the time you're sitting on the bus waiting yeah. for everyone to come. We brought tons of snacks and yeah. sandwiches. Peanut and butter and jellies and our own sodas. Bananas and, and apples and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and I was thinking that maybe that is too much, uh, but we ate it all. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't like any other place to really Eat. No, you're literally just going to a truck stop. So yeah. they have just standard things at a truck stop. I'm very happy with the day. It's an amazing experience to have with everybody and, and your friends and family. Um, but we are exhausted. See you next time. Bye. To all.